questions, uh, short questions, but two parts. Uh, to your experience and to your opinion, how many patients in Switzerland are treated today with a newly diagnosed uh, atrial fibrillation with the new uh, anticoagulants? And what is the typical patient for you today, uh, the typical warfarin patient for you today? Well, there is um, several thousand of, of patients treated with ablation. Uh, uh, there are around 60% uh, of patients who are treated with anticoagulants. And um, the third question was? How many, are, how, how many of the patients with newly diagnosed atrial fibrillation are uh, treated with the new oral anticoagulants? We don't know. In Switzerland, we, we don't know yet. And what is today the typical warfarin patient for you, which you would not treat with the new anticoagulants? Yeah, it's a, a, a big question. I think every new patient uh, diagnosed with an AF has to be discussed for a new, new anticoagulants. Patients who are clearly stable with uh, vitamin K antagonist who are stable since years and uh, who are used with this drug doesn't need to be changed uh, to another anticoagulant, I think. Uh, one more quick question. Um, in the study you showed the huge difference between day two and day 90. Could that not be due to the anesthesia? Yeah. All of these patients that fu were fully anesthetized. Yes, right? exactly. Day two, it's not unexpected that they were exactly. Have exactly. Fun. Yes, okay. exactly. Okay, thank you very much. We have to uh, hurry on with our program, and I would like to introduce the next speaker, a good colleague of mine from Bern. Uh,